Hey guys, it's me Gun Fourteen Slinger, and I have a new story for you guys. This is about an accident with uh, one of the family vehicles. No, nothing crazy like a car accident, but you know, basically a accident due to, um, of course, my stupidity and not thinking. But all in all, before I get into the story, if you guys enjoyed the story, please hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and subscribe. Join the gun slingers if you haven't already. Now let me get into the story. So this happened a few years ago. I don't exactly remember how long ago, but a few years ago, that much I could tell you. Okay. It was a Friday afternoon, you know, I just got home from school. I wanna relax a little bit, maybe watch a movie, play some Nintendo. And you know, I was home alone, okay? My parents were out getting some food, you know, groceries. Which is pretty cool and all. So, yeah, I was probably playing Nintendo or watching a movie. I don't remember. But um, then my parents pull up in a driveway. Okay. Here's the thing. Every time they uh, come home with food, I have to pretty much help them bring uh, the food in. I don't, mean, I don't really like to do that, but I eat too, so I gotta help. So anyways, yeah, I helped them bring the food in and the, and drinks in. So, yeah. The last few things were a bunch of few cases of water. Bottled water. And, uh, well, me and my brother were handling the rest of it. And he brought his case in. He First he opened the door to uh, back the car and um, brought his case of water in. And then... I went to go get mine, but I wasn't paying attention. I hit my head on the door, you know, because of how tall I am. And I don't know, that got me a little upset, you know. I mean, I don't have, like, a temper or anything, but, you know, sometimes things like that just gets me upset for some reason. I don't know why. So, anyways, yeah, I go to open the door gently a little higher, but then the unexpected happened. I don't know how the heck this happened, but, um... When I went to go, when I lifted the door thing, the glass part, the whole thing just shattered. Okay? It just shattered into a million pieces. Not even exa exaggerating. Okay? A million pieces. Yeah, you know, raining glass. And I'm, and I'm freaking out and all, thinking, holy crap, mom and dad are going to kill me. So, you know. No point in lying about it because it was obvious. So, you know, I just went ahead straight up tell the truth. Yeah, I was freaking out. My, my brother came out to go see what's going on. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I can't talk. So, before I went to go tell my the truth to my parents, my brother came to see what's happening. He was like, dude, what the hell did you do? I just told him exactly what happened. You know, I lifted the, uh, the thing and the whole window just broke. He was like, what are you going to do? And like I said, no point in lying about it. So, you know, I was obviously going to tell my mom and dad the truth. So, you know, I went inside and my parents were like, what was all the commotion? So, you know, I just went ahead and told him. Uh, told him and my dad was like, no. He went outside to go see the window of the car. And I'm not going to lie, he was pretty upset about it you know just walking around trying to walk off the anger or whatever you know, like, he was all Durr! take a deep breath trying to control his anger or whatever no he does not have an anger problem you know sometimes he just gets I don't know how to say it but you know, he sometimes needs to uh, just take a few deep breaths. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways. Yeah, he goes and talks to me. He's like, I'm not mad, but I'm pretty upset about this. And I told him, I know, and I'm very sorry. I mean, of course I'm sorry. It was an entire accident. I wouldn't do anything like that on purpose. 
anyway, so later we go out and um, we get tarpon covered with duct tape. I think, yeah, we covered the, uh, the hole that's in the back of the car. My dad was still not happy about it, okay? He was like this. Then he went ahead and told me, you know, you're paying for this, right? I told him, yes, I know. So, I later that night, I gave him $100 to replace the windshield. You know, I'll admit, I was not happy I had to give him, a, I had to pay $100, you know? Imagine what I could have bought with that, with that $100. But yeah, that really sucks. And he was saying, he assumed that I was angry because I had to go out and help them. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't angry about that. I mean, yeah, I got a little upset because the door hit me. But I wouldn't get upset over food. I mean, yeah, I didn't want to do not want to help bring it in, but of course I had to help. I was angry about that, of course. So yeah, that day I lost a hundred bucks. Hey, you know what? At least that day, at least that problem's over with and all, and you know, I could just put it all behind me. And yes, he did get the windshield replaced too. You know? Yeah, it's not really the same, but hey, it covers it. No pun intended. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the story. Just be careful how you do things, so that way you don't end up having to pay for accidents like that. If you guys enjoy the story, please hit that like button. Leave a comment what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to join the Gunslingers, if you haven't already. Twitter link's in the description below. And I'll see you all later. Later, Gunslingers.